Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome to my first car build on Forza Horizon 3. A lot of people have been asking for my car builds. Well, not a lot, but a couple of people have been asking for my car builds. Um, I did this car build in my first live stream for Forza Horizon Drifting series that I'm starting. And I'm going to show you this car build because a lot of people didn't tune into the live stream. Um, so I'm going to show you the setup, I'm going to show you the tune, and I'll show you it drifting as well. Um, so that's jump into here and let's just go to the garage and let's just get the upgrades down just so you know what upgrades you're putting on and then I'll show you the tune and then I'll show you it drifting so first thing first wait I went a bit fast then you, know, you want to go to upgrade shop you want to go to conversion and then you want to do the drivetrain swap because you don't want all-wheel drive you want rear-wheel drive so there we go first thing done no engine swap no engine swap we, we're not rating the R um, the R8 <laughs> the V8 right now so okay arrow arrow is completely up to you basically if you want a massive fuck off wing go for it if you want a body kit go for it because it's not going to make too much difference a little bit because it is downforce obviously but it's not going to make too much difference all I've got is the full Nismo kit and no rear wing so I just like the way it looks basically um, tires we're going for those street tires everyone knows about the Forza street tires <laughs> all day every day um, front tire width for sticking with stock 245 on the rear we've got 265 width uh, rims completely up to you once again you can choose whatever rims you want to uh, drivetrain everything in here just go through and put it all to race so everything in here upgrade it to race um, okay so there's no point clicking through all that also in this bit everything brace apart from the anti roll bars the front and rear you both want them what you want them both <laughs> on sport instead of race so everything else race apart from the anti-roll bars which is sport okay that's that and then we've got the engine okay let's go through these one at a time race intake race fuel system race ignition race exhaust race cams race cams <laughs> I clicked on the same one twice and then stock valves stock displacement stock pistons and compression stock uh, twin turbo race intercooler race oil and cooling and a race flywheel up in here as well so there we go that is all the upgrades done and dusted you can paint your car however you want it uh, I've just gone for a simple black and silver but I am going to be coming out with a paint series so I don't know if anyone wants to see that or not but I'm going to try it <laughs> um, so that's that that is all the upgrades and now we're onto the tune so go to tuning and in here we can do the tune so I base this basically off um, what previously I've done in Forza and a set of course tuning so I've kind of went for a bass tune that's in like basically my bass tune on everything I slapped it on the car and it felt good I've just tweaked it to the point where it just feels stable it feels powerful it's just slidey it's perfect so tires at 42 psi in the front in the rear you want 32 gearing all I've done was put the uh, final drive uh, to acceleration 4.17 uh, I'm going to make that 4.18 just because it has to be an even number, right? <laughs> okay, so alignment on the front, minus 4 camber. On the rear, we've got minus 2.5. Uh, toe is standard. Caster, we've got 7.0. Anti-roll bars, we can't do that because we've got sport. Um, springs. Actually, no, I fucked up. Springs, springs, springs is not race. Springs is not race. I'm sorry if I made you buy uh, the rally ones there. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's go to platform and handling. As you can see, springs and dampers off road. You want the off road springs and dampers. Um, it basically you get more steering lock, so you want off road because you can get more angle basically. Um, so my apologies for not. I'm not bringing that up a second ago but it just slipped my mind it completely slipped my mind okay let's go to garage now back to tuning and then we can go all the way across the springs and in here we've got 84.9 on the front 
76.9 on the rear, ride height all the way to the bottom. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna up the front a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Um, rebound stiffness 6.1 in the rear. We want 5.5 bump stiffness in the front 3.8 in the rear 3.2 aero we can't do braking I haven't touched it because it seems okay to me uh, you can just you can do that to yourself um, to your personal needs but I, I don't really use the brakes so only for like when I'm tearing it down the motorway or something but when I'm drifting I try not to use my brake too much more handbrake um, and differential you want to lock the differential so 100% 100% there we go I am going to upload this as well so if you guys don't want to type it all in, you can just go onto the store. Is it the store? I can't remember what they call it. Um, and I will call this. I'll call this episode. Yeah, I'll just call it ep, episode one. So that's the first car build I've uploaded onto the. What do they call it? Because I play so many games with like these stores on it now. I don't know. I've lost track of what they actually call it. So let's put that as drift. Uh, best for handling. Share. There we go. It's getting uploaded. So that's easier if you don't want to type it all in yourself. Um, you could just click and just go. If you go to garage and then go to tune in. And if you press the select button with the two squares on it. I don't know what it's called. And then you do load setup. And then you go onto the tune like store. And then you can press the select button again, and then you can type in the creator. Um, my game attacks the same as on YouTube, Kevin Toll, so you'll find it pretty, pretty solid right there. As you can see, there's a lot of drift things on here. We've got drift, 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 real drive, drift. Yeah, a clickbait, clickbait tunes. <laughs> we love that. Okay, so let's show you how this drifts now. Don't know where I am in relation to the map. Um, Alright, darling. Oh my god, I have to set a route to a festival location. Do I? Yeah. And now I can get off a bit. <laughs> okay, so let's put the thing over to there. That's fine. Let's just go to the airfield for this quick tester. Um, this car's got plenty of power. No. Shut up, Anna. Okay. Oh shit! Um, yeah, but like I was saying, this car's got plenty, plenty of power. It's got about, it's running about 550, um, roughly. It's perfect, really. Uh, it's perfect power, perfect uh, stability. Probably one of my favourite cars so far. But I haven't, I haven't had too many cars to be fair. So I can call this my favourite car, but it's probably one of the first ones as well. So. Alright, let's head over here to the airfield. Uh, and let's go. Where's the. Over here. Okay. So let's start here. This is where I tuned the car, so it's probably tailored for this. for this um, section pretty well, so. Oh, fuck the pallets. It's so stable, like look at this. Bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> this car is sick. Loving this car right now. So let's give it a few more runs just to show this car off a little bit more in all its glory. Oh, that was my fault. I don't even know why I hit the handbrake then. Look at the power. The tires just don't stop spinning, which is what I like. Whoa, alright, alright, alright. That's a big drag race, that is huge. <laughs> okay, let's go. One more run, just to show it off. Look at the stableness, look at it. Oh, 
it's like you change gear, it doesn't bog down. It just pure just powers through. It's crazy. I love this car. I love it. So I hope you guys check out this car. You will love it. Obviously, I'm on the wheel, so I don't know about controller users, but please try it out. See how it goes. Let me know in the comments below if it's good for the controller as well. Uh, that'd be good to know. Uh, just for future, if I should put like wheel setup in the title or something. Uh, so yeah, let me know. Also below, leave a comment saying what car you want to see next build. Um, there might be a couple of episodes where I do build cars that I just want to drive, like the R34, uh, I want to do the S13, I want to do the 240, so there's a couple of cars I want to do, but leave a comment below with what car you want to see as well, and yeah, I'll try and build them for you guys, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.